I'll begin. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Mikhail. Uh, four years ago, I thank you. Four years ago, uh, I co-founded a company called Digital Genius, which is the AI platform for customer service. And our job is to take a part of the contact center and put it on autopilot and return valuable time back to the customer support reps and their managers so they can help people and uh, so they can keep up with the increasing customer expectations. And the question is why? Why, of all the wonderful and cool things we could do with AI, why did we choose the contact center, right? And the reason, well, there's two reasons. The first one is the abundance of historical data inside contact centers. Think about all of the email transcripts and chat logs that are being stored inside of a contact center CRM system and uh, are a great source of data for machine learning training. And the second reason is that today, let me just click, in 2018, customer service has become a proven competitive advantage. So it's very difficult to compete on price. It's very difficult to compete on product. So the, co the companies that are rising and succeeding versus the ones that are not are prioritizing customer support and customer service as a way uh, to drive their competitive advantage. And so another thing is happening, which is that customer support has always been a game of sacrifice. You have to choose whether you're gonna spend more money or less money or whether you're gonna make your customers and your employees happy. And so today we're seeing machine learning and AI become an equalizer that's letting companies have both, best of both worlds, to remove unnecessary costs from their contact center while making their customers happy. And so let's take a quick pulse check on the market and where we've all been as an industry um, and how we got here. In 2017, you know, I have no doubt that I call that the year of you know, the AI hype. We've seen hundreds of millions of VC funding pour into AI startups. We've seen thousands of companies get founded with a .ai at the end of their website. You guys know what I'm talking about. And you've seen you know, NVIDIA stock skyrocket because of the adoption of GPUs, which are you know, one of the primary tools uh, that drive deep learning applications. And so uh, that's what that was all about. And that brought us to 2018, where 90% of Fortune 500 CEOs were talking about AI on their earnings calls. Think about that. Almost every Fortune 500 CEO was talking about AI on an earnings call. And what that led to is all of the different business departments at that company now suddenly have to have an AI thing. They have to have a project. They have to have a successful implementation so that they can deliver on their leadership's mandate of bringing AI to their company. And so, uh, you know, we've seen, you know, in my business, we've seen uh, companies emerge that are doing quick fixes, quick AI. So some companies are you know, basically deflecting customer service questions with, a, with an FAQ article. Um, we've seen great adoption of chatbots. Many projects have worked out really well. Many have not. And it's expected. No long-term change has ever been driven by a quick fix. And so that brings us to 2019. And we're not quite there yet, but it's coming up quickly. And what we believe is that 2019 will definitely be the year of transformation, when more and more companies will actually put proper machine learning and AI applications into various business units, whether it's customer service or sales or marketing or HR. And they will, uh, these, these tools will get adoption. Some of them will become household names and it'll, be, it'll become the new status quo. And so at Digital Genius, you know, we've been kind of at the forefront of this space. You know, we first started with chatbots about three years ago. Um, we then brought the first uh, product that actually did AI recommendations for customer support agents. And today we're making a new announcement, which is a technology framework, which we're announcing that is powering our products. And we're calling it conversational process automation. So probably everybody in this room has heard of RPA, robotic process automation, which has been around for a while. And it's had some great success in some areas, mostly around backend systems. But the biggest shortcoming of RPA has been its inability to understand conversations, which is a, which is a huge limitation because today, the number one channel, number one way for a customer to interact with a brand is through a conversation, as we've seen today. And so the idea of using AI to connect the world of conversations to the world of back-end processes to drive outcomes is, is the future. And so this is how it looks and works. Um, basically, imagine yourself in a typical customer service interaction. Let's say you're asking for a refund. An AI model will understand this type of request or this conversation. It will then trigger a back-end sequence of processes that have to happen in order for that customer's problem to be solved. And in this case, it's, uh, it's a verification of whether this customer is actually eligible for the refund. 
If they are, the refund will be processed and, and actioned on in whatever backend system is required to actually do the refund. And the CRM space field will be updated for that customer saying that the refund has been processed. And only then a response will be sent back to that customer telling them that they've been refunded. And that will most of the time lead to a wow moment, a wow experience for this customer because no customer ever expects a refund in less than a minute, right? It's like the opposite of what a customer is expecting here. And here we are delivering that type of experience. Now, everything on the right, that whole back-end process is actually a mess. And that's what takes so much time for a customer service rep in a contact center because they have to manually interact with multiple systems to drive that process. And today, we're making that experience automated from the conversation to the process back to the conversation. And so this is what customers are saying. This is some of the end users of our clients. And they're saying things like, wow, this customer service is making me come back to you next time, even though I'm asking for a refund. And they're, they're just bewildered by the fact that it takes less than a minute to get a refund suddenly where it used to take you know, 24 hours. And so we're putting CPA, the conversational process automation technology, into our core products, two of our products. One is called Autopilot, which understands conversations and then executes back-end processes, leading to automated case resolutions. And the other is Copilot, which is our agent assist product, which understands conversations and recommends answers to the agents so they could solve these questions faster. And here are some of the results that we've seen. One of our customers, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, is now supporting two times the volume of messages than they did a year ago. Uh, with a similar agent headcount. And they've reduced their, agent, their case processing time by approximately 50%, which means that the travelers are getting answers faster and that their, their agents have more time on their hands to do other things. Another company called Magoosh is now auto-resolving 10% of their overall volume uh, with end-to-end. -end. This isn't deflection of questions. This is actual resolution after just a week of using autopilot. And here's my favorite one. A company called Travelbird, which is an online travel agency, They've turned their contact center profitable, which is unheard of in the customer service space. Usually a cost center is now a source of competitive advantage for this company. And so we've brought this forward. We've also written a book on the topic. We have them on our stand. And if, if, you, don't, if, if you want one, you can pick it up. If not, you can use the URL to, to, to get the electronic version. And the idea is that having conversations is not enough. You have to use AI to understand conversations and enable back-end processes that actually resolve customer service issues. And the good news is, every single day, customer service is getting a little bit easier for all of us. So thank you.